Hello, I'm Bart Basil, Smart Grid and Energy Systems and Applications Engineer, and I would like to take the next few minutes to introduce the new Server Power Monitor EVM featuring the MSP430 i2040 Industrial Microcontroller. This new EVM from Texas Instruments is used to measure single phase energy, voltage, current, frequency, and power for embedded metering applications, often called submetering. Some application examples of embedded metering are home appliances, server and PC power supplies, UPSs, smart plugs, solar energy inverters, and electric vehicle chargers. These applications require moderate energy measurement accuracy and low cost, making the MSP430 i2040 a great fit with its 2 to 4 24 bit sigma deltas and 8 kHz sample rate. This EVM provides the essential hardware to begin evaluation right away including an MSP430 debug header, built-in wide-range switch mode power supply, isolated RS-232 communications interface, seven built-in LEDs for debugging and visual monitoring, and easy-to-use connections for power pass-through. The provided firmware has many features to help enable easy development. It measures all standard power readings, updates them every 80 milliseconds, is capable of automatically measuring both AC and DC inputs, and requires no separate DC calibration. To show how easy it is to use this EVM, let's show a quick demo. The EVM will come pre-programmed, so it will work right out of the box. I'll set up the connections like this. Connect the AC line to the live in and neutral in, and the loads to live out and neutral out. As you can see, the EVM has convenient holes for banana style connections. Then we'll connect a serial cable to the PC and place the EVM in a protective enclosure to prevent any accidental exposure to high voltage before powering the system. Now let's power the board and open the TI provided PC monitor and calibration software. Here you can see the readings from supplying the power to this LED lamp. The GUI is showing the real-time voltage of the supply, the current, the active power, and many other metrology parameters. You can easily see the power and current draw change when I switch the lamp on and off again. Now let's explore some of the other features available by clicking on Meter Features. In this screen, we can see all of the supported metrology parameters, additional measurements, and nominal settings. If we return to the main screen of the PC application, we can also see the current calibration settings by clicking on Meter Calibration Factors. Here we can quickly see the current values so that we can create a baseline for calibration. The last screen for actual calibration of the meter is accessed by clicking on the manual cal at the main window. By entering the percent error readings in each available dialog box, the device's calibration settings can be easily set. For more information on device calibration, please see the EVM's user's guide. Lastly, let's see the tested performance of this EVM. You can see from the 15 milliamp to 20 amp graph, it stays within plus or minus 0.5% error. From this graph, we notice that the error increases at low current due to small signal noise and at high current due to self-heating of the shunt resistor. Thus, if we can improve the ventilation and heat dissipation, we can maintain good accuracy even at higher currents. To learn more about MSP430 i2040 industrial MCUs, head over to the product folder at ti.com for a look at the datasheet, additional application notes, and more.